welcome to this channel in this video i will show you how to use packet book reader to read ebooks and even read them fast. okay so first of all if you don't have packet book e-reader just go to play store or app store and then type packet book reader and then you just download it and install it after that you come and open it when you open it um you will come and then click on this uh, arrow this round arrow click on it it will load and any books or any pdf file or document that is in your phone will be added to the list of books now if you want to just read one book you come and tap on it so let's say i want to read how to influence people by john c maxwell i'll just tap on it and then it will open so when it opens and then let's say you want to read a certain path in fact when you open uh, you can do some settings before reading but I will just show you uh, first. I will show you how to read. I will later show you how to do the settings. So let's say I want to read this particular um, book and I want to start from level one. You just come and tap. You tap on the level one and click on the audio symbol, and then click down and tap on the play level button. Level one. Modeling people are first influenced by what they see. If you have children, then you've observed this. No matter what you tell so you your see, children to do, they're naturally it just starts to read, and you choose. You can even choose the speed and the pitch the speed will determine how fast or slow it will read then the pitch for example no matter what you tell it no matter what you tell your children to do their neck no matter what you tell your children so the lower the pitch the more it looks like a man and the higher the pitch it turns to a woman then um so you can do those adjustments no matter what you tell your children then you can also look at the um, you can do other settings such as if you want to move to a certain part of the book so for example let's say that i'm at the beginning and i want to go click on at the top when you click at the top yeah so it comes and then you can scroll it up to the place that you want it to be then you also can choose whether you want um we have auto scroll we have text view how you want the appearance of it to be you can click on settings under settings you can choose the colors i'll come back to this later but let me show you um what is more important now when you open like this you tap and hold it okay then you see a certain second click on the settings no not this is not the one i want so you see the language the language symbol when you click on it um we have translation you can translate it into um so when you click on the translation program you can see it gives you the option to translate to any language so we have google translate different types of translations and you can choose maybe if you want to translate from one form to another so for now that one to i will leave it there um you can in fact when you choose the translate it can even read from one language to english you, it can be that the book can be written in chinese or french and it will translate to english depending on whichever is your default language it will translate to that particular language then also um we have the highlighter here so for example if you choose highlighter yellow so you have when you uh um you select a certain text and you click on the highlighter it will highlight it for you so this way maybe when i'm reading maybe this is something important for me i want to take notice of so i will just take notice of it and know that this part is it's just like you reading a physical book and underlining the important parts that matters most to you you can come back and then open another book so if you want to look at all the books you read you go to last open book and you click on the arrow to the right and then you can open again I've, I've opened a different book so let's say i want to read from here just click here and then um although sometimes you click on the play and it doesn't play click on this arrow how is toughness developed see how it is, is it a god-given talent or then also um there's always a way to select the type of voice you want so let me show you how to do that when you click on the voice click below you see the voice we have english united states that's the default one so you can choose any voice of your choice 
whether you want american english uk english any type of english of your choice the donation and whatever you can follow and choose the one that best suit you okay so also um when you click and hold um you can click on the trade dot there are some settings i want to show you but it's not showing let me just click again uh -huh. so when you click scroll like this you click on the three dot so you see all that i was saying the highlighter is here and then you also have copy so if you want to copy a certain part if you want to share if you want to search something in wikipedia if you want to search for something in wikipedia all those can be done here then again if you come back to the bottom of the app here you see um we have different things you can do here when you click on the view you can choose whether you want it to be scrolling up and down when you are reading or not because when you turn the vertical scrolling on what it means is that you can scroll up and down but if that one is not on it will be flipping from right to left that is how it is yeah so there are a lot of things you can do with this packet book reader you can also if you want to share it to other apps you just come and click on tap and then you click here and share it so there um it's a very useful app you can also use it to read audio books so when you come here any audio book that is on your phone it can automatically open it and read it just like the way you read the pdf books yeah there are a lot of other settings you can come here and do but the most important and basic ones are what i just told you so you can go through navigate through all the various sections of the app and know how to use it thank you for watching remember to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell and like this video leave your comments in the comment section if you have any problem using this app and i'll come to help you thank you once again and see you in the next video